When trying to find the greatest common factor of any two given numbers, some people have a hard time figuring out what is the greatest number that fits into those two numbers on the first try. But that's okay, you can start off by finding any common factor and eventually figuring out what the greatest common factor is. And the first thing you can do is write the two numbers right next to each other. After writing the two numbers right next to each other, write what looks like an upside down division sign around the two numbers and then find any common factor that you know fits into those two numbers and write that on the outside. Because 60 and 100 both end in a zero, we know that 10 is a factor of both of those numbers. We know that 10 fits into 60 six times, so underneath the 60, write the number 6. And because 10 can be divided into 100 10 times, we write the number 10 underneath the number 100. The next thing you do is look at the two numbers that you have written below, 6 and 10, and find any common factor that fits into 6 and into 10. Because 6 and 10 are both even numbers, we know that 2 is equally divisible into both of those numbers, and 2 can fit into 6 3 times, and 2 can fit into the number 10 5 times. When the two numbers that you have at the bottom only share the number 1 as their only common factor, take all of the numbers that you have written in this left hand column here and multiply them together and that will give you the GCF. In this case, our GCF of 60 and 100 is equal to 20. Let's try another example. This time we are going to figure out what the greatest common factor is of 72 and 108. So first, we must write the two numbers right next to each other. And then we draw our upside down division sign around the two numbers. Next, we try to identify any common factor that can fit into 72 and 108. And remember, you don't have to start with the greatest common factor because we will eventually figure out what that is. We can see that 72 and 108 are both even numbers, so we could start with 2. But I can also recognize that 9 is a common factor of 72 and 108. Because 9 can fit into 72 exactly 8 times. And 9 times 12 is 108. So 9 can fit into 108 12 times. So now we have the numbers 8 and 12. Now we must figure out what is a common factor of 8 and 12. We could start with the number 2 because 8 and 12 are both even. However, I can also see that 4 fits inside 8 and 12 equally. So I'm going to write a number 4 on the outside. And 4 fits into 8 twice. And 4 fits into 12 three times. The two numbers we have at the bottom are 2 and 3. And 1 is the only common factor remaining. Therefore, we can multiply the two numbers that we have on the outside, 9 and 4. And 9 times 4 is 36. So the greatest common factor of 72 and 108 is equal to 36. So remember, this technique is very useful for people who have a hard time figuring out what is the biggest number that fits into any pair of numbers at one time. You can start with any common factor and eventually figure out what the greatest common factor is.